my bishop called me in and said, could, could you and the girls do a, um, a benefit for us? I said, well, we've done that for you many times, and, and it's really so often. Why don't we do something different? Why don't we do the King sisters and their families? And I said, I want you to really do it upright. I mean, I, I don't want to do it in a small fashion. I want it standing room only. <laughs> and if you'll promise that you'll do that, then I'll see if I can get my family together. Now, they would never done this before. But they'd sung in choirs and uh, was just singing with each other and all that. But I mean, they've never, we never did have a show. But um, I called down, the, I was in Arinda, California, and uh, I, I called down to them and asked if they would put together a show which I would write. And uh, they said, oh, Vonnie's getting homesick, isn't she? We better go up. So they all agreed to come up and do a show in Oakland. The whole family wanted to do it. And some that had to change their working at Jim Conkling, my brother-in-law, uh, was president of Columbia Records. And he adjusted his schedule to, so that he could do it. I mean, the family wanted to do it. I picked every hit song there was. I mean, Gigi was out and uh, uh, just wonderful commercial songs. And um, standing room only and a standing ovation the minute the show was over the audience rose to their feet and um, quite a few people said oh this should be on television well then uh, Donna my sister Donna said since we've already learned it and know it would you do it for my church and uh, they did it in a Berkeley no not Berkeley uh, one of the high schools and quite a few show people had come to it and um, same thing same reaction standing uh, ovation and um, people saying this has got to be on television well, I still didn't do anything and then daddy said at BYU they want to uh, build a new field house and couldn't you do a, one more benefit since we all know it well same thing except that it was filmed by their film department at BYU very poorly because it was just a gymnasium. No, no drape, no pretty sound, it was just a reverberation of, you know, it was a really pretty bad tape. But they had done that. And um, uh, this man who was a vice president of, um, oh, what was it? Well, forget that. Anyway, he called me and said, this should be on television. And I have the phone number for you to call the nighttime program director of ABC. So here I am in my nightgown uh, for the change of time in New York, you know. And I'm talking to a Mr. Ed Sherrick. And he had known the King Sisters work. As a matter of fact, one of his shows was the Hollywood Palace, and we had done that several times and he knew our work and everything but um, he said do you have anything I can see and I said well we have this very crude tape but I think the heart is still there so he said well tell you what you do and I said and it's very long he said cut it to um, to one hour and take it to my guy over at the uh, affiliate ABC affiliate in San Francisco and he'll see it and he'll tell me if he thinks I ought to see it. Well, he could have had a fight with his wife that morning or, uh, you know, it, 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 just one man, yes or no, is a very tight little thing. Anyway, I played it for him and he told Ed Sherrick, he says, I think you better see this. So he flew out from New York, and I flew down from Orinda, and he brought along the, the, the producer of the Hollywood Palace, Nick Vanoff. So anyway, 
he saw the tape and he had tears, big tears in his eyes at the end. And he had brought his wife and his two children. And uh, he said, uh, I, this is the kind of show I'd like my children to be able to see. And, uh, and he said, Nick, would you produce it? And Nick said, I'd love to. It, it went a couple of years and some, some specials. And all of a sudden, recently, I thought, you know, that was, that was a, a gift. Doing this show, I didn't go out to make money. I didn't go out to, to, you know, make a big deal out of it. It was just something that happened. It just, just happened. And I realized that that was the thanks given to me for just finding it and doing it and with not any purpose to it. But it was a ball. Our family had so much fun. And we became a lot closer, too.